two of Babylon is Fallen. Um, I'm actually recording this straight after part one, so there's no crash issues. I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible, because it is frustrating. So, right now, as I said last time, we need to collect some cogwheels. We need five altogether. So, I will be starting... See, this is the way we came in. So, I don't think it really matters what order you get them in, really. Not to start with, anyway. So, to some extent, you need to pull a lever to pull a lever, switch to pull a switch. So you can't get them all in any random order. But, firstly, I will get two that are in this room to the right. So, if you approach the door, it opens. We get some awesome, creepy music. So, firstly, we want to jump into this gap. It's not very easy. So I'll save first. Okay, so you need to run and jump and then veer around a bit. Yes! Got it on the first go. Awesome. So the cogwheel is right here. So just make your way to the end and in this corner there are some poison tipped arrows. Unfortunately, I think I already said that there's no explosive arrows in this game. Very sad. So, come out of this cruel space here, and for some reason she doesn't shimmy. She will not move from this position, so just drop down and grab again. She will grab this, and you want to come to the right, and climb up, and flip and turn. Oh, I missed. I missed it. I'm going to have to do that again, unfortunately. You do need to veer to the left. That's what I didn't do, because I'm a bit dumb. So... Try again. So annoying. Oh, my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was going to miss that. Okay, so climb up, and then jump and turn, and veer to the left, so she would land on here. And just here there are some shotgun shells, so don't forget those. For some reason you have to crawl into the gap, but she can stand up once she's picked them up. I don't get it. Do not get it. So now we can place this very first cogwheel we've picked up. Because all the places to put them are random, they're scattered, they're not just in one location. So that's so just do what I did. Go go to the corner, hop back, and angle yourself for that ledge. Run and jump. And here is the first area to place the cogwheel. First cogwheel. So now the second one, which is in this room. So while I'm in the water, there are... There is, there are... A small med pack. Which Lara won't pick up. And in the corner some arrows. So now we can, if we come out just here, for some reason you need to jump to this bit to grab this ledge. I don't know why, but whatever. So jump and turn to the slope. And you want to, oh, I was going to say you want to grab as late as possible so you don't grab the monkey bar here. That's how you place the cog at the end. Try again. I keep messing up just because I'm recording. I know, right? Oh, try again. I won't talk, I'll concentrate this time. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
Okay, so just climb up and the cogwheel is literally right here. Awesome. So now we can use the monkey bar. But we have to climb back up again. It's considerably easier to grab the monkey bars though. Here we go. So, just all the way to the end, place the cogwheel. Okay, now, cogwheel number three. So now we can just leave the room and return back to the fountain room. Whoa. Grab. Okay. <laughs> it's quite a large area, this bit. It can be confusing. So the third cogwheel, if we come over to here, and there is a, a ladder right here. It's fairly well hidden, you wouldn't think to look. Well, I didn't think to look there anyway. So, follow it straight round. And you can see here, this is where the fire traps are. You can just see that some of the fire is off. That one is off. Can't tell if any more's off. But anyway, there's a door in front, just here, and there's a door behind. They both lead to the same place, so it doesn't matter which door you choose. So you'll need the crowbar for these doors. That's why we picked that up first. So follow it down. And in the wards I hear, there is a, a very important item. This is a bag of sand. Just here, we have to shoot this. You can only shoot it from when you stand on this grassy bit. You can't stand on the steps. So jump and shoot that. And yes, that just happened. So now that random griffin thing is knocked over the wall we have access to this cogwheel. And right there, you can see right there is where we need to place it, but this fire is in the way. That's what the bag of sand is for. So just douse the fire with that, and now we have access to the monkey bars. Okay, so now, again, return to the fountain room, because everything is in that room. That's the main area that we are in right now. Okay, so we've got three cogwheels so far, they're in their receptacles, so now we've got two more to get, and they are a lot harder. I don't like them. <laughs> okay, so if you come left when you come out of the doorway, from the way you came, we want 
want to swing all the way to the other end. So run and jump. And you need to press jump and let go of action to actually jump from poles. And don't forget to grab in the air when you jump from that last pole just there. Okay, so in here it's not easy to get to. You may have noticed the gap when you were on the poles, just here. You want to come out of there. You want to be on the right hand side of the pole, because she won't shimmy past that pole. And also, if you've got a keen eye, you may have already seen this jump switch. This is what we're aiming for. So you see the gate that opened there? That gate is right over here. And you can explore... Oh, that's never happened before. <laughs> can I see? Okay, yeah, I was going to say, you can, you can explore this area, but there is nothing down there. So, come into here, and just here, there are some poison dar uh, darts, arrows, poison arrows. So you want to be at the lowest part here to try and get into that gap. And also, just around this corner, whoa, whoa now. Stop, <laughs> stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, so just around the corner there are some shotgun shells and some arrows. And there we go, you can just see in the gap there. There is another thing to shoot. badly today. Oh, come on. we go. Ah, oh, god damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, stupid low ceiling. Right. So the door that opened is right here. And before I go up there, I'm going to go up here and get a secret. to come all the way try and be close to the uh, you see the line just behind Laura's foot be around there and you want to jump to you can just see a ledge right there so I like to see it just here okay so you want Lara's shoulder to kind of be part way along the wall line the uh, vertical line of the wall and then just run and jump and veer to the right. There we go. So we want to get all the way to the far corner. So come to this edge. Because of the low ceiling you're better off grabbing in the air especially this one, you do need to grab in the air for this jump. There we go. Last jump. Okay. And guess what? That's not a secret. <laughs> I know, right? It should be a secret. But it's not. Now we're going to go get the secret. So you just want to come to this higher ledge here. 
You see that lower one is where we actually came from. And we jumped over to those two ledges. So, just run and jump. Always grab in the air if you're unsure if you're going to make it, because then she, she will slide into the gap. And you just want to jump to the ledge right above Lara's head there. So run and jump and grab. There we go. And then just shimmy to the left and then pull up. And something I didn't mention about the crashing was sometimes, like, if you've died and you go straight to the load screen, if you leave it on the load screen for too long, it crashes. <laughs> I know, I don't get it either. <laughs> okay, so just hop down from there, and on the right, there is a small med pack. And opposite, there are some shotgun shells. But you will take damage trying to get them. So, if you like to conserve your health, save it and if you're not satisfied you can reload. Oh no no oh, get out of there. Oh well that's alright. There's actually four sections to this game where you get load screens. So uh, this first section is very easy and I've never been able to work out that door sound, that first one. Because I always thought it was that door but that's closed. But anyway, before we go into the uh, through the door that's just opened, just hop this fence and there is a small med pipe right here. And now, if you didn't get the shotguns, uh, the shotgun shells, you still may want to save your game. Let's just, I'll show you what, what, look, what even is that? He stays there for quite some time. You have to go up to him to activate him, unfortunately. So now that door's closed behind us, and just... And now get out of there, really quick. So, you need this griffin to press these two buttons up here. One of them lowers a rope, which I think it's this one here that I'm... at lowers a rope. Whoa! I didn't mean to jump over him. So there's the rope right there. And I will press the other button, get him to press the other one. Because that produces a large med pack. Hmm. Kind of upset about my health a bit. So you can see Lara targets it, but you can't kill it. actually want it to come up this side. It's very easy to coax about. Okay. Try and jump to the side this time. Oh no! I j oh, oh, that's alright. It didn't take damage. That's fine. It's okay. Like a ladder. 
because you won't make it straight up to the top, but you will grab the, the side of it. Okay, whoop, okay. So now we've got a couple of traps to go through. You can go either right or left, they're both exactly the same. And the cog is on the other side there. Oh no no no, why? Why did you do that? Oh, I'm actually going to reload because I've lost a lot of health there. is consider considerably better than what it was. So now I'm going to try not to jump off. <laughs> don't really know what made me go backwards like that anyway. So, so you just wait for the fire here. I don't very often get hit by a dart just here. So wait for the fire to turn off. And you just get enough time to turn and then and jump to the cog. So now that other door is open that I showed you and for some reason the minotaur follows you into that room. So I like to try and coax him up this way before I run off. He seems to think I'm down there. I'm up here! Come on! Come on, come get me. Where have you gone now? I'm here, hi. I'll just run up the other way. Oh, he, he's still confused. Okay. Okay, he's coming. I think. I hope. Okay, he's coming. That's good enough. Okay. So just make your way all the way across. When you get to this room, you see the tile on Laura's right foot, the line just there. You want to be to the left of the line. Run and jump through this gap <laughs> right there. So it's difficult when you're being rushed. So there's the griffin. And now we want to place the cogwheel up here. So this is easy peasy, just jump straight over the spikes. Here we go. Coming back. 
Oh, for God's sake, I'm just going. I'm gonna go. Well, I have no idea where it is. But I'm safe now. Okay. So, from here... We need to swing from those poles again. So we just climb back up to them. Okay. So exactly what we did before. Don't forget to hold action to grab in the air. Remember it showed a funny camera angle? That's because we can enter here. Yes. Okay, so we can see stairs leading down just there, but there's, we can't do anything down there yet. So firstly, over in the corner here, there are some flares and some poison arrows. And now, at the bottom of those stairs, there is a door that needs to be opened. And the jump switch to do that is right here. It's very well hidden. And also, that spawns one of the, uh, the mercenary guys. So just keep running around and shooting. He doesn't drop anything, so just come straight down the steps. Nothing in this room, so straight through this door. This is the door that we opened with the jump switch. And firstly, this room can be quite confusing, because you don't want to go down just yet. So jump to this window, and I actually recommend saving before you do the next jump because they can be quite intricate jumps. So we're aiming for the centre ledge, platform ledge, on the left. Whoa. So just in the corner there are some shotgun shells. And now, I'm going to get another secret. So the secret is this med pack, <laughs> just over here. It's not easy to get to, so you want to come to the edge and take one step back. And because it can be difficult, I always save. <laughs> so just do a standing jump, hold action, and she'll climb into that. Because usually she will just slide down that edge but if you get it right, her animation will grab the ledge. Now you want to just run and jump back up there. Okay, okay, you okay. So, run and jump to this next ledge over here. You come into this area and on the right, there is a guy. A guy, like how my guard. He doesn't drop anything. The only reason for killing him is to stop him hitting Lara while we try and open this door. So, this is a button. Press the button. Okay, so that platform that's just raised is right out here. It's that just there. So now this platform here is raised, we can get that med pack on the left hand side, just there.
and we can also access another secret. So many more secrets in this tiara lead than... What's that game? Beyond the Ski on that's the one. There weren't many in that game, I was a bit disappointed. But, if you're not bothered about secrets, then it is a fantastic game. So I'm not going to dispute that it was a rubbish game, because it's not. Okay, so the secret is in that window ledge, right there. And it's difficult to get soon. So, much saving, just in case. It really is a case of trial and error. I can't really... Ugh. Oops. Yeah, so there will be lots of falling off. Awesome, second attempt. So you do need to veer to the left. It's not easy, it is very trial and error. So this is where we press the button. So that's just a, an easier return path that's just there. So now what we need to do is jump into that little cubby hole. Just there, straight in front. Come to the right and climb these stairs. And just here, you can see that's where we're going to place the fifth and final cogwheel. And also, you can see this keyhole just here. We will be coming back to that, but not in this video. And the cogwheel is right there, on that pedestal there. There we go, so just grab that. So it's shown us now that that door is open. So we just need to make our way to the door. I don't want to overshoot or undershoot. Whoa. Overshoot. Right. So I will not be placing the cogwheel in this video. I will leave that till the next video. So thank you for watching part two of Babylon is Fallen and I hope you join me next time. Thanks a lot. See you soon guys.